Next up is the My360 VR kit. The first thing we're going to do is add the kit to your tripod. Now, as we talked about before, make sure that the tripod you're using for the VR kit is a bit more sturdy than the monopod, just because you're using your phone as a camera and you'll be touching it, so you don't want that to wiggle around. The next thing we're going to get is the mobile phone. And we're going to open the VR kit app. We have to add the lens to the phone to make it work. But before you do that, make sure that your phone lens is super clean. Once that's done, we're going to put the phone onto the VR kit rotator. Take the lens, make sure it's clean. And stick that onto the camera. Now this is a little bit wiggly, but what you're looking for is that it's evenly distributed over the camera. So now it has to start connecting to the VR kit. So we're going to switch the VR kit on. And once you've connected it the first time, it will automatically connect to the VR kit as soon as it's switched on. You can put it to 20, 40 or 60 seconds, depending on the light that you have in the house. If you have a lot, of, if it's very low light or, or there's not many windows and not many lights in there, try and put it on longer because that way um, you can make sure that it takes the most light in that you possibly have. The other thing that is very important is that you switch on HDR for your phone. So your phone, if you have a good mobile phone, it will have HDR included in your phone, but you need to switch that on in the app. And the last thing you have to switch on is to make sure that your fisheye lens is set to 180. This fisheye lens is a 180 fisheye lens. So make sure that it's set to 180 to give the correct images. Once that's all done, you're ready to shoot. When you shoot a virtual tour of any room, you need to make sure you go in straight lines and 90 degree angles. Do not go diagonally across a room because that's not how naturally somebody would go through a room. It has to be as natural as possible. And also when you start connecting the images, when it comes to connecting the images inside any software, when you, once you've done it in straight lines and 90 degree angles, it will actually look a lot better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first shot here. And the good thing is that I can walk around the camera while we're taking the shot. So we've already set everything up. All I have to do is click anywhere to start. So I'm going to tap this and you see the timer come on and the rotator will start rotating. And what I do is I walk with the rotator. So I don't have to go hide. I can just stand behind the rotator. And while we're doing that, we can discuss a very important thing which is shadows. If you're doing this outside, make sure that, you, that you're doing it at 12 o'clock or you're not in the sun because if you're walking around your tripod, your shadow will at some point show in the image, which you don't want to do. So in that case, you have to either hide or make sure that you're doing it at 12 o'clock. We're processing the image. And now if I go to the image, I can see that it's a perfect shot. No stitching errors, apart from the cameraman who is moving. There we go. So that's excellent. So now we can move on to the next shot. So we pick up the camera and we move to the next corner. Now, if you wanted to take a shot in the middle of the room, instead of putting it on the next corner, put it where you're making the 90 degree angle. So let's say here, we'll take one shot here and the next shot will be right in the middle of the room. Tap anywhere to start. And here you go, the image is starting again. Walk around the camera. And then the last image we're going to take is here on the last corner. From here, I can move back that way or I can continue down the hallway and it'll be the same in 90 degree angles or in straight lines.